So here is the modern kitchen, which I bought on eBay. And it is a really nice kitchen for like the backgrounds of pictures and stuff for um, photo shoots. And it's pretty big, so it is measuring about 21 inches by 14 the whole package and there's only a little bit here that isn't the kitchen that's in that so it comes in this package that is like has that molded plastic on the front and then on the back it's just like the back side of the box it makes noises and stuff but I'm not going to be uh, using that I'm not going to be putting the batteries in it or anything to to make the noises um, but I'm going to open it up and then I'll show you all the pieces. I think it's going to make a really nice background piece. I mean, it's obviously plastic. It's quite a bit cheaper than any other pull-up sized kitchen that I could find. And it is made out of plastic. And you can tell it is made out of plastic. But I think when it's going to be in a background with pull-up dolls in the foreground, I don't think that's going to really matter. So I'll open it and then I'll come back. Okay, so I have my modern kitchen out of the box now, so I thought I would show you all the parts that it comes with. It does come with this box, which you can flatten out and use as a kitchen floor if you like. And so I'm gonna put that aside for my kids because they might want to do that. This kitchen is for me and my girls to share, so um, it's not entirely mine. I'll be using it sometimes for backgrounds on, on photo shoots with for doll photography, um, but it might end up living in my kid's Monster High uh, area of their playroom, or I don't know exactly where I'm gonna keep it, but it's gonna be sort of mine and theirs. So it comes with this really cool kitchen, this really cool fridge, which is stainless steel, which is kind of cool. It has the red handles and um, it opens up like that. There are shelves in the fridge so you can store some food in there, uh, which is really nice. There are these drawings in the back of it, which I don't really like, and when Holly got hers, um, that's Holly of the Hollycopter YouTube channel, um, she actually replaced the background, the backs, like this piece of cardboard, she replaced it with another piece of paper. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use like a nice pattern paper, something neutral back there. Uh, because I don't like those pictures either. And then up here, there's another cupboard with again pictures in the back. And then the drawer for the freezer is just a little stainless steel. Well, it's, it's all plastic, but it just looks like a little stainless steel freezer drawer with no compartments or anything. Um, so, you know, it's not like a high quality, but you get what you pay for, right? And I didn't want to sink a whole lot of money into something that was really just going to be a background prop. So I think this is perfect. It's going to have good play value for my kids. And it's nice enough that when it's kind of blurry in the background, or even if it's not blurry, if I fill it up with lots of nice remand, I think you're going to notice all the nice remand and not the fact that these, uh, these kind of like drawers are not nice <laughs> not perfect and that sort of thing so then this is the next component it has uh, glass doors so you can see right through them again I'll be replacing those pictures back there with something else it has this little section here with drawn on coffee and so I think I'm gonna put something else here like maybe this little shelf or something oh, that one won't fit there but I'll find something to fit there um, and then you can hang a little uh, towel there. I'll have to get a little piece of fabric to put there. This doesn't open. The tap goes back and forth. It has a nice gray sink. And then it opens down here. There's more cupboard space. And then the oven is really nasty. Yeah, it's awful. Um, so, yeah, I won't be pressing that button very often. I just wanted to show you how awful it was. It has, there's pictures back there which I will remove, and then it has these uh, racks that come out. Both of them, they come out all the way. I just don't want to have to bother putting them back in. You can see there's a little window so you can see what's cooking in there. There's another little drawer, drawer down there where you can keep baking pans and stuff. The, um, whoops. 
The uh, stove top is pretty plain. It doesn't have any kind of things to go over. Unless if there, there might actually be, there's a whole bunch of accessories here that I have to have a look at. So I'll find out about that. It has a little range right here with the little buttons up here. More cupboards. And then the last piece, so it comes with these four pieces. The last piece is the dishwasher, which opens like that, and oh, that's where that belongs. There was a missing piece right here, so this goes in there. I'll just replace it with white, I think. Um, I think the dishwasher is supposed to make noise too, but I can't get it to... Oh, it doesn't look like it. There's no electronics in there, so it must not make noise. Um, and then I think... I think, not entirely sure, but I think that this rack goes in there? I don't know. There's kind of space for some type of a, of a rack or something, but mine didn't come with a rack. So, I don't know what that's all about. Maybe this goes in like that. I bet it does. Yeah, if it's perfectly like that, so. <laughs> and it won't fall out once you have a piece of cardboard there. So that's kind of cool, it has a microwave that has a turkey in it. And more cupboards up here. So, that is what it comes with. In addition, these are not, these are remit. So, so these four pieces are what it comes with and I think that goes in the dishwasher. And I'm gonna take all of these out and just replace each one with a piece of pattern paper, like scrapbook paper. It comes with a pot and a frying pan and some little utensils. They're super shiny silver um, and they're plastic and I'm gonna be giving these to my daughter. And then it comes with two bottles of jam and a bottle of mustard. I, they like taking things out of the package so I'm not gonna open these because they, they enjoy that. So, and then it comes with a set of four plates and some more pots and two glass red. And then it comes with a gl another glass with some ice and the fridge has a water dispenser. So that's what this goes with. And the ice is actually really cute. The ice cubes are quite adorable. And then it comes with a whole bunch of food, a cake, a cake holder. What is that called? Like a cake tray and a watermelon and some fruit and vegetables. And this is really cute. It comes with a toaster, which looks like it works. I wouldn't count on it, but yeah, it kind of works. It doesn't stay down, but yeah, that's kind of cool. Two more cups, so you get a total of five. Some canned goods, a bottle of milk, and some teacups and saucers. And then right here, it comes with like a silver tea service thing. I think it's tea service. I don't know what all these little things are. I don't know. It looks pretty fancy to me. It's a silver tray with stuff on it. Yeah. So, that's my kitchen. I'm going to fix it up and then I'll show you the final product. Hi guys. So, it took me a couple of days because I had to go to work and stop doing what I was doing for a while. But I uh, finished backing and chain. I guess... I finished changing my kitchen to the way that I wanted it to be. This is the kitchen that my daughters and I are going to share. I'm going to use it as a photo prop for my pull-up photography and my kids are going to use it for their Monster High um, videos and playing and that sort of thing. And so I have it here. It's these four components. They're all separate. And what I've done with it was I took out the the cardboard backings and for the most part I just flipped them around because I didn't want to go over that because you can see depending on the thickness of the paper I didn't want to be able to see that. It turns out I used thick enough paper that it wouldn't have mattered but so I put I lined the insides of all of the cupboards with this paper or this paper I ended up running out of paper and so I might need to do this again with all the same kind of paper but I didn't have enough of either and I really wanted to use this creamy yellow color and so it's almost the same but it is a different pattern um, 
but anyways, it'll do for now. It looks much nicer than having crazy pictures of, of um, food and stuff in there. So I did that and then I went back and I backed this, this surface here was just plain white and it just, the kitchen looked way too white and silver. It didn't look quite homey enough. It looked very kind of sterile and um, lab-like. <laughs> so I took another piece of scrapbook paper and I just cut it up and put it on the backs of um, of the kind of like the it's kind of like a backsplash. I wanted to put this cabinet right there, right here, but it didn't fit. So I went ahead and put my Rilakkuma cabinet there. I'm pretty sure that Holly did that as well. So um, there was a picture of a coffee maker there and I just wanted to have something that I could put a little something like some bottles of soap or I don't know what I'm going to put there, but I wanted to be able to put something there. I still need to get a piece of fabric that I can just hang here as a little towel. So I backed all of the cupboards in yellow paper, one of those two yellows, and then I backed all of the appliances with this light gray paper. I guess it's kind of like a medium gray. That doesn't really open all that well, but there's gray back there too. So there's gray inside of the stove, gray inside of the microwave, gray inside of ooh, the dishwasher. <laughs> yeah, you kind of get what you pay for when it comes to these things. These are not the greatest quality, but they're really cute and I think they make a nice background. So I'll just open some of the cabinets. They're all empty right now. I haven't put anything inside of them. I have kind of like two different patterns of paper right beside each other, which might not be the greatest idea, but here, there. Yeah, I really would have liked to have had this paper for all of them, but I just didn't. So I'm just going to open a whole variety of things for you. And so that is what it looks like. I'm really pleased with it. I love the colors. It matches the color of the, like it kind of coordinates with the background color of the shelf, which is good. I didn't want to have to put wallpaper or anything up on the wall behind it. And um, I think it matches nicely with the things that I'm going to be putting over in that corner as well. So I will come back when this is a little bit more ready. Okay, so more updates to my kitchen. This is becoming quite a process. I keep coming back to it and changing things. So I can't remember what I showed you guys last time, but I did put scrapbook paper on the backsplash. And I also made two cloths, two dish towels. So there's one right there. And then there's one hanging on the dishwasher. They're just scraps of fabric. I didn't sew them or anything. I just um, I just cut them and then I pulled some of the stray uh, strings off of it to make it kind of, I don't know, it's kind of like frayed on the edges. And I could always run a zigzag stitch across it if I wanted to, but I just kind of left it a little ratty. So, and I put some dishes in, so I have some dishes and groceries in there. Well, groceries, just a, a bag of coffee and a, and a tin of cocoa. <laughs> but I just took some of the dishes from my Rilakkuma and my other re Rement sets and put some little jars in my little shelf that's right there. I put some baskets and stuff up on top of the fridge. And there is some food in the fridge now. It's very spread out, but <laughs> there's milk and jam and eggs and butter and a salad in there. There's also something cooking in the oven. It's chicken. garlic and rosemary <laughs> but I think that pot looks really nice inside of 
the oven because it's orange and there's orange in the backsplash and there is some jam cooking on the stove top and some treats are at various stages of being made. I put my salt and pepper shakers back there. I love those. Those are one of my favorite remend pieces. They're really, really cute. They look just like real salt and pepper shakers. And there's a bowl of whipping cream or something and the little coffee maker, which I also love from Remand. Love, love, love it. I bought the set kind of for the coffee maker and for the bread maker. So I love that. Speaking of the bread maker, over here past the kitchen table, I have a little pantry type of area. It's just three stacked little tiny wooden crates from Michael's and I didn't paint them or anything because I don't know if I'm going to use them for this forever, but um, I have the bread maker, a blender, and the Rilakkuma scale with a little Rilakkuma bear on it. I have this little piece of remint that I don't know what to do with right there, um, just to kind of fill up the shelves a little bit. And then the little tomato plant right there. And the little cookbook from the Rilakkuma set right there. And over here I have this sideboard table which is a set of drawers, three sets of drawers from Martha Stewart from the um, storage section at Staples. And there's nothing in them but they make a nice side table in a kitchen. And so I have a little toaster oven with a oven mitt on top of it that opens and the little egg tart comes out and there's more egg tarts over in another section. And then I just have some little things that are cute that I didn't want to put inside of a cupboard. Um, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with this section. I'm going to hang this little shelf right here on this wall, but I haven't decided whether I'm going to just put it in the middle of the wall. It's quite tiny, so it's not going to look awesome in the middle. So I'll show you what it will look like. It will look kind of like that, which is not great because it's you know, kind of tiny compared to the other things. Um, I was thinking about maybe putting a window on that table, on that wall, but I'm not exactly sure how I will do that. Um, and so I'm gonna wait and decide whether I'm gonna put a window there or not. If I put a window, then I might put the window and then put that little shelf right beside it, or I might put the shelf on that wall right there, maybe in that space. I'm not entirely sure, so I'm not gonna commit to that until I know what I'm doing. So the other thing that I've done is I put three of our kitchen tiles on this bookshelf where I keep this stuff. And uh, you see that it, it hangs out a little bit. It actually gives me another inch or so of floor space by doing that. And, um, and yeah, so that's my kitchen so far. It's a work in progress. Hi guys, so my kitchen is about as done as it's going to be for now. Um, I have a couple more things that will be arriving in the coming week, so I might show you guys another update or you just might notice changes. Um, so I'm just going to walk you through what I have set up here because it's, it's pretty much set up and I'm really pleased it was fun to set it up, so hang on. Alright, so I just got up on a stool. This is a little um, piece of artwork that I've had uh, that kicking around. I've had it for a number of years. A former student gave it to me and it's too tiny to put any place I can't, I have never been able to find a good place to put it and so I'm happy to have it fill this wall right here, this kind of empty space in my kitchen. It's just two cats looking out the window and there's no windows in here at this point. I might make one eventually but I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do that. I put the plant from the other part of the apartment over here. This is a table and stools that I bought on Etsy. Um, and there's just a little snack there waiting for somebody. And yeah. So then this is the kitchen that I've shown you guys at various different stages and it's all, um, you've seen the inside of it earlier in this video and I put some baskets and stuff on the top. This is what it looks like with dolls in it. So the dolls are a larger scale than the kitchen. Um, 
they stand a little like their heads come right to the very top of the kitchen cabinet and when when they're right against it so she's in front so she's looks a little bit shorter um, and but you know they still look nice in the kitchen um, they're not totally gigantic and so there's Nikki bending over the stove to get something out and I have some Remint set up there to make it look like they're in the middle of doing something. I love that little coffee maker. It's one of my favorites. And so Suzette is here doing some baking. She has my most favorite piece of Remint ever, this Poirex uh, measuring cup, which is just like a measuring cup that I have. She has her cookbook out, and I don't know what she's making, but she's got a little birdie here helping her, <laughs> kind of waving. He's cute. <laughs> Um, so there is Suzette. She's po she was posing. I took some pictures. That's why she's kind of looking off to the side. Now, I don't know about you guys, but my microwave often has a forgotten coffee cup in it. So I put a coffee cup in this microwave because it was looking a little empty and needed something inside. So <laughs> there's a forgotten coffee cup in there. And I am in love with the 70s style uh, dishes that come with some of these, some of these remint sets, especially that one. That one is from um, a set that I got. I forget what it's called though. I can't, ah, I hate it when I forget the names. So that is Nikki over there bending over and you can see her around Suzette. She's getting something out of the oven. And then this is my Martha Stewart little drawers from the uh, stationery store. And I went ahead and put the little shelf on the wall. I used uh, those command strips for putting it on so that I can take it off without ripping the paper if I decide to put a window there. And I just put the tomato plant on top of it and put some extra coffee cups. The drawers do open but I, there's nothing inside of them. And then I have just an assortment of remnant pieces here that I really like and wanted to have out on display. Love the bread maker, love the toaster oven, love the blender, love the scale, love all of this stuff. So it all had to be out. And then I had just had some little trinkety little things that don't really go together. So I just put them on a tray to make it look like it's kind of like a coffee serving station. Like after you make your coffee over here, right there, you can kind of make your way over here and put some chocolate in it or some sugar or whatever you want um, over there and then head over to the table and have a little drink. <laughs> I did use some 12 by 12 um, tiles from my own kitchen upstairs. We had a whole bunch left over and I've used them before for doll scenes and so I just put them here. They actually extend this uh, shelf out by about an inch which is nice because it would have been tight with that island there uh, if I didn't have that extra inch to put the island on. Speaking of island, I just made the island right now and that's the main thing I wanted to show you guys. So what I did was I took three of those little tiny doll crates that you can get from Michaels. They're unfinished wood. I painted them. I just painted them white and then I hot glued them to each other. And then I lined them in paper. There's another piece of paper on the back. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that there. I think you can see that. I can't see it, but I think you can. There's another piece of paper on the back just to make it look finished in case I ever turn it around or something. And then I took a piece of white particle board from my whole bunch of pieces of particle board that I have mostly in there. And I've spread some of them out because I was looking through for the perfect sizes. Um, and those are leftovers from storage cubes that I get from the crafting section of Michael's, from the scrapbooking section of Michael's. And I just hot glued it onto the top of the crates and it makes a nice little island and it has this overhang so that, you know, in theory, people could sit here, except they couldn't because it's air. But <laughs> when I use this as a doll prop, it might be over in this section right here. And so I might have more space for actually setting up people to be standing around um, or sitting at stools or something. Who knows what I might do in the future because I love making doll furniture. It's so much fun. 
So especially, I like making kind of very, very simple doll furniture. I think I would hate making elaborate doll furniture because I'm not into measuring and stuff, but I love gluing stuff together and putting paper on it, so that's fun. So I will just give you a quick look at the rest of the apartment. So this is the kitchen and dining area. And then when you go across here, my apartments are not stacked because I wouldn't be able to reach them if they were. So over here is the other area which I have extended out to the wall. I couldn't find a five foot shelf. I've been looking for a five foot shelf, um, but I couldn't find one. So I just put those tiles down and extended them so that they're kind of hanging off the edge. And it's not gonna fall because that thing is incredibly light and most of the most of the tile is, is supported. It's just the little bit at the end that isn't supported. So I just need to be careful. Um, I wouldn't want my kids to play with the apartment or anything. I did put a picture of Times Square up, although Jax's head is kind of right in the middle of it. Let me move him. So this was another small piece of artwork that I got when I was in New York City. I bought it in Central Park and I've been wanting to put it up someplace, but it's just not the right scale for any of the spaces that I have. So I put it up there. Everything else is pretty much the same. Luna's curled up reading a book. She's been having a little snack and coffee. I don't know why she's sleeping if she had her coffee, but she is. Um, and so this has a little bit more room now. Between There's more space between the bedroom and the living room, so I could make the bedroom bigger if I wanted, or I could make the living room bigger if I wanted. And this is pretty much the same, except Nero is here. Oh, his name is Nero. It was Nico, now it's Nero. I can't decide on him. He doesn't have a name, but yes, he does. It's Nero. I've been slowly replacing some of the things on my shelves that belong to my daughter. So there was a yellow uh, picture frame there and I returned it to her and got myself a red one. I have to replace the alarm clock with something. Um, and then, and then I'll be fin and then she will have all of her stuff back, which will be nice for her to have in her American Girl room. She's got an American Girl room that's set up really similar to this, but it's quite a bit bigger because the dolls are bigger. So those are my apartments for today.